just uh, quite a windy afternoon here, Juma, and welcome once again to Wild Earth Afternoon. We're looking forward to it's hopefully going to be a spectacular afternoon. Quite a bit of a sort of a northerly, northeasterly wind blowing at the moment, and it's uh, still quite warm, so it's going to be nice to see how the afternoon develops. As always, we can just drive around, see what we see. It's all happening live, so it's as much yours as it is mine. And also just keep an eye on this water, I'll see what's around. There's been a buffalo around earlier, quite a few impala and antelope. So it's been, a, it's been a good sort of steady flow of animals around the water all today. Hopefully that'll even pick up as the afternoon starts. So please join us, myself, Peter, Rob and Haley. Superior is still back at the Life Control Center as well with Haley. And as always, we look forward to having you as our guest. Let's go spend some time in the bush. Same way, baboons might eat a baby impala if they got hold of one that was dead or something. But uh, typically, they won't really harass impala, and on this time of year, they quite happily coexist. is probably just going to take a sort of slow feeding sort of movement down towards the dam. We're not far at the moment, probably about three, four hundred meters, about three hundred odd yards from Gauri Dam. And I'll probably end up around there, maybe a little bit before sunset even. Very comfortable, lazy look about them at the moment. Quite a few impala also joining in, coming in from the right, so sort of a slow line of them. Animals just using nice easy lazy movements out here conserving energy it's still quite warm i don't want to be running around too much we're going to move on go look around for those of you that maybe didn't join us this morning really joining us for the afternoon drive quite an exciting morning saw two different leopard sightings one's gorilla and the cubs briefly quite thick bush and then also another male we're going to go back to where gorilla was this morning just go have a look around see if luck we might still be around there's a good chance of it they had quite a bit of food left still, so let's just see what these baboons get up today. They seem to be tolerating us quite well today. There's two young ones riding jockey on mum there. It's moving off a little bit. Mum. It's quite funny, these little guys, when they're very small, they can't actually sit up on the back of mum yet. They sort of hang underneath between the front legs and grab hold of the hair and hang on. As they get older and stronger and more coordinated, you start seeing them riding more like sort of experienced jockeys.
guys just feeding away. There's one. So the female's just there. Where is she gone now? Carrying a baby underneath. There she is. That's still quite a small guy. You can still see the pink of the face. Also very dark hair. Looks like probably the latest addition to the group. Let's grab some binoculars. Oh, that's still tiny and he's losing his grip. <laughs> Shame. Tiny little guy. He's probably only a few weeks old. Even the feet and the hands are still pink. No, he's very little. Just having a better look now. At the most, a couple of weeks old. Probably about a week, week and a half. So he'll be the latest addition to the clan. This will be his dad in the foreground here. Big old alpha. Magnificent male. He's running this troop by himself. There's no other alpha males in the group, just him. But he's uh, certainly a worthwhile dominant male. He's massive. Two of them deciding there's time for a quick tussle as well. Sure. It's a quick surprise. Let's have a look. Ah, nice. What are they doing? Still running around to see if they square up again. <laughs> that was quick and unexpected. There's not really that much fighting going on at the moment with Impala. They get down to the drainage line there. So we're going to have to just <laughs> do a bit of planning here. We've got an antenna sticking out the back and there's a branch that's very low. Go a bit forward. Uh, okay. cool. It's literally just the height of Rob's head. Much, much lower than the antenna. Let's uh, hope this. Carcass was this morning when we saw them right down here. These trees they could have moved a bit during the day, found some better shade. So let's careful look around here. It's up on that bank that the carcass was, so we'll have to let it go around and look that side as well. Sorry, there, Rob, you can't see anything down that side. Hundred perfect little shadowy spots here. 